It's the first week of May and it's earning season. My name is Kay Chai and it's time to mind your business. Here are the financial headlines. A host of blue chip companies are set to release statements this week. Among them, Johnson & Johnson, Netflix and Lockheed Martin. This as the global markets tap the brakes. Everyone agree the economy is robust, but in the background, Australia's central bank just bumped up interest rate by 25 basis point. The bank hopes the rate hike will slow the economy down and warns that if inflation continues, it's prepared to raise the rates again. Of course, rate increases are not good news for homeowners because mortgage rates must also climb. One banker says the average homeowners could be paying an additional $300 a month by Australia Day. In tech news, billionaire Elon Musk bought, uh, Elon Musk bought Twitter for $34 billion and that news had many at the tech company, scrambling for the axis. Musk say he bought the company hoping to improve its potential for free speech, but he has also looking at the bottom lines and that means layoff. Tech billionaire Mike Cannon Brooks become energy giant AGL largest shareholder this week. After a rejected offer to purchase AGL, Cannon Brooks informed the energy provider he had purchased 11% of their shares, allowing him an opportunity to vote against AGL proposed breakup next month and transition to renewable energy. Finally, one tech giant is betting that the COVID inspired home office is the new normal. HP just announced a $3.3 billion bid for poly and audio headset manufacturer. Clearly, HP sees more Zoom calls in the near future. Checking the markets, the Dow Jones Industrial are up by 84 points. The Nasdaq is up by 201 points and the ASX 200 is down by 30 points. Those are your financial headlines. I am Kay Chai and that's us minding your business. See you next time.